Hey there, Buy Smart family. Welcome back to another episode where we dive deep, compare, and sometimes roast products to help you make smarter purchasing decisions. Today, we're putting two popular 3D printers head to head. On the left corner, we have the Comgro Ender 3V2 Neo, and on the right, we have the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo. Buckle up, because things are about to get filament ally intense. First things first, let's talk about the money, honey. The Ender 3V2 Neo comes in at a sweet $199. It's like the budget-friendly friend who always brings chips to the party. On the other hand, the Cobra 2 Neo is $279, kinda like that friend who insists on only drinking craft beer. So if your wallet is crying out for mercy, the Ender 3V2 Neo might be your new BFF. Now, let's talk about assembly. The Ender 3V2 Neo is practically IKEA furniture for beginners. Only three steps and you're good to go. Meanwhile, the Cobra 2 Neo also boasts an easy setup, but let's be real. If you're not mechanically inclined, you might end up calling that one tech-savvy friend who can assemble anything while blindfolded. Next up, bed leveling. The Ender 3 V2 Neo has the CR Touch Auto bed leveling. It's like having a personal assistant who makes sure everything is just right. The Cobra 2 Neo with its Levi Q 2.0 automatic leveling is like that overachiever in class who makes sure you know they did the extra credit. Both are a dream for those who hate manual leveling. So basically, everyone. Speed demons, listen up. The Cobra 2 Neo prints at a blazing 250 millimeters per second. That's faster than my morning coffee brewing. The Ender 3V2 Neo isn't slow, but compared to the Cobra, it's like a turtle racing a hare. But hey, sometimes slow and steady wins the race, right? When it comes to quality, the Cobra's new integrated extruder and cooling system makes sure your prints are smoother than a jazz saxophonist on a Friday night. User interfaces are where these two printers show their true colors. The Ender 3 V2 Neo has a brand new 4.3 inch UI that even supports nine languages. It's like the UN of 3D printers. The Cobra 2 Neo, on the other hand, is all about those little details with linear propulsion and input shaping. It's like the printer equivalent of having a personal trainer who won't let you skip leg day. Let's talk silent operation. The Ender 3 V2 Neo has a silent motherboard so you can print at midnight without waking up your entire neighborhood. The Cobra 2 Neo might be a bit noisier, but it's built like a tank with that 7,000 revolutions per minute cooling fan. It's like comparing a ninja to a rock concert. Both have their own charm. And finally, customer service. The Cobra 2 Neo offers a one-year service with 24-7 support. It's like having a tech-savvy friend on speed dial. The Ender 3 V2 Neo doesn't explicitly mention its support, but hey, it's cheaper, so maybe use those savings to buy a stress ball for when things go south. Amazon reviewers have shared their experiences with both printers. The Ender 3 V2 Neo is praised for its affordability, quiet operation, and ease of assembly, though some users mentioned needing to tweak settings for optimal results. The Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo is appreciated for its speed, print quality, and user-friendly features, though some users noted issues with noise and occasional print quality inconsistencies. Overall, both printers have been well-received, each with their own strengths and minor drawbacks. So, there you have it. The Ender 3 V2 Neo is for those who want to save some bucks and still get decent quality while the Cobra 2 Neo is for those who want speed and don't mind shelling out a bit more. Which one would you pick? Let us know in the comments below.
And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on our smart buying tips. Until next time, keep printing and stay smart. Product links are in the description.